Welcome back everybody to Let's Attempt to Play XCOM. Um, we're doing alright so far. Just as a recap, the last mission went really, really well. Um, we kicked Alien Buttsky. And now we're uh, going on to do the next mission. The uh, Earth is looking okay-ish. Um, Russia's in a bit of a state. Uh, Australia is going fucking berserk. Um, Nigeria is not having a good time either. Um, meanwhile, everywhere else is kind of, um, kind of not really panicky, um, they're, but they're sort of a bit nervous, if you like. Um, but anyway, let's scan for activity because there's nothing else we can do at the minute. Um, except for actually visiting the barracks and checking out this new sergeant we got on the last mission. Lisa Brooks. Co um, uh, yeah, nicknamed Cobra. Oh, fuck that. You're getting a different nickname, love. Uh, right, abilities. Let's give you tactical sense or aggression. Generally, I go with tactical sense. Here's the reason why. Aggression confers 10, plus 10% 10 critical chance per enemy in sight up to a maximum of 30%. Um, that's nice, but I generally play this game on the assumption that I never get, I will never get a critical hit. When I... Um, when I try and sort of judge whether or not I can take a target out, I don't take critical hits into the equation. That's just a bonus, as far as I'm concerned. If that comes up, great, but it's not something I seriously consider when deciding which enemy to shoot at and stuff like that. So, an enhanced critical chance for me is not a big deal at all. I don't really care. However, a defense bonus per enemy in sight up to a maximum of 20 is actually really good because it will stop her from dying. So, we're going to take that. What else have we got? Uh, again, close and personal confers a 30% critical chance against adjacent targets. I don't care because it's critical chance and it's not really a thing I'm interested in. However, lightning reflexes is good. Forces the first reaction shot against this unit each turn to miss, which means I can run, dash across open ground even if an enemy unit has overwatch and they will always miss. Well, the first one will always miss. If there's two enemies that are doing overwatch, the first one will miss, the second one will have a decent chance. Um, so, but that's quite useful, especially since assaults do a lot of dashing through open ground as a general rule. So we're definitely going to take that. Um, we also need to change your armor because you are an assault, which means you get green armor. Yes, you do. Um, uh, let's have a look. Oh yeah, and we've got an, uh, we've got a new heavy as well. Who needs an armor change? Where is he? Yeah, you're in hospital, so we don't need to worry about you. But we have... There he is. There's our man, Brad Hamilton. Uh, customize. You get blue armor. Because you're a, a lucky boy. There you go. So. Um, okay, Brad Hamilton, Archie Burns, who we should really cut out on a mission once in a while. He doesn't get a chance to very often, does he? Um, we've got you. we got you. We've got you, all of which have shitty nicknames. I'm going to give them different ones, I think. Um, no, I don't know about what to do with you, because we've not taken you on a mission yet. So I don't know what you're like. But you... You... We've already established that you're Sector Dandy. Except you were where you would be if I could... Uh, if I could, uh, if there was enough room, so you're just going to be, um, Steve Irwin? <laughs> yes! Crikey! Um, and, uh, where, where, where are you? You, just because you're awesome, you get to be McBadass. With two S's, Jingles, come on. Learn to spell. Salah McBadass. Okay. Um, however, now I've done that, she'll probably get killed instantly, but whatever. Right, so we've got Steve Irwin and McBadass, and you will get a new nickname just as soon as I figure out what you're good for. Oh, and Archie Burns over here. He, he doesn't get a nickname yet, but I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to give him. Um, okay. So, let's get on... Scan for activity. New research. Okay, so that will allow us to build scopes, uh, which are 
well, they're scopes, you know, for rifles and things. Um, they're pretty useful. I'll probably build one at least for my sniper. Um, experimental warfare, six days, beam weapons, 12 days, carapace armor, 14 days, which is fucking terrible, but I'm going to do it anyway, because we need that armor. Because it'll not only give us give better protection and all that kind of jazz, but it'll give us extra inventory slots as well, which we desperately need. Um, we are fast approaching the time when we start to see the really nasty enemies, so engineering. Build items. Build scopes. I require one scope. Thank you very much. Barracks. Soldiers. Steve Owen. Loadout. Where is it? Where's your damn loadout, sir? Um, there, you get a scope. Uh, which will increase his aim significantly, I believe. How much does it actually increase it by? Ten. Okay, so... Yeah. That increases his um, aim to, like, that's 81 plus 10, so that's 91 effectively, which means he's going to be, hopefully, pretty good at shooting shit. Which is good news. We've also still got a full team, well, actually, it should be five now, because we've got the, uh, the squad uh, size upgrade, but we've still got four veterans, at least, still in active duty with these two wounded. So that's good. And we do have an active medic as well, which is the main thing. Incoming transmission. Okie doke. What's going on? We are extremely impressed. Oh yes, great A. Plus one scientist, plus three engineers. Could care less about the engineers, but an extra scientist is nice. As well as a load of money. Oh yeah. Nice. Okay, so... Yeah, no, then no, no. This is going. This is doing. We're doing good. We're doing good indeed. Um, yeah, I like. I approve. I didn't expect to get a grade A this soon. Actually, I was expecting maybe a C or a B. Um, nice. And the access lift is done, which means we can build alien containment. Begin. Uh, we have 70 credits left. Let's go to the officer training school and get wet work. Plus 25% experience from kills, which is good. In case you didn't know. Um, go. Oh, heck. Um, a UFO has landed in Canada, no less. It's a small scout, um, and we're going to go. Obviously, obviously, we're going to send the Sky Ranger. Um, this could be quite a difficult mission though, so let's make sure we don't have a bunch of faff asses with us and we actually have people who can fight. Um, you guys are still wounded, which sucks, but never mind. Let's take... Why is it with all the Australians? My god, we have three of them, this is ridiculous. Mary Ryan and Zoe Taylor as well as Steve Irwin. Um, this is... This is this is uh, stupid, quite frankly. And what the hell flag is that? Oh, it's I think it's Egypt. I could be wrong though. I think it's Egypt. Um, let's take Hashimoto. Why not? We've used him before anyway, so he's probably got a little bit of experience, sort of. Even if he hasn't leveled up yet or whatever. Okay, Hamilton. Yeah, we've got at least one heavy with us, which is good. And we've got Burns, he's a medic. Even though he's not quite as good a medic as Seller, but never mind. And we've got Brooks as well with her shotgun. Let me just frag grenades all around, pretty much, yeah. And a scope for Steve Irwin over there. Uh, launch. It is... okay, it's like 10.30 a.m. Right, here's the, the other thing that annoys me about this game sometimes. It's 10.30 a.m., but we could very well get a night mission. You know, a map that's set at night. Um, now, it makes no difference in terms of gameplay whether the map is day or night one, but in the original game it did make a big, big, big difference. If you were on a night mission, you were severely handicapped in that if you wanted to actually see shit, you had to throw flares down and things like that. Um, 
It's just one of the many sort of more realistic aspects of the game that the original XCOM had and this one seems to have dropped. Um, but on a, it also just kind of seems daft to me how you can go into a mission at 10.30 a.m. and yet it's still night when you get there and stuff. I, I, it, it just seems dumb, but whatever. We can assault. This could go horribly, horribly wrong. The drop site for this operation will um, be in Canada. Reports because indicate the UFO set down in a sparsely populated Yeah, shut area. your face, Central. Um, talking over me like that. Cheek. Alright, okay, so it is a day mission for once. Um, but the problem, with, problem is that um, this isn't a crashed UFO, so most of the crew is still alive and all that shiz. You know, so we could very well get ourselves massacred, which would not be fun. And we're probably going to see at least, I don't know, probably some floaters. Um, some thin men, all, all the kind of slightly nastier aliens. Sectoids, no problem, but the others can really ruin your day. Right, Captain Australia, uh, you can go over here. And you can hunker. Yeah, people have been telling me to use hotkeys. Uh, the hotkeys don't work for some reason. I tried assigning hotkeys and they do not fucking work whatsoever. If I press H to hunker, it doesn't do it for some reason. I will show you, in fact, right now. Pressing H right now, not working. So that's why I'm not using hotkeys, by the way. Yeah, I think one or two people did ask, so why I wasn't doing that. Um, you can overwatch. Brooks? I'm going to have to, I think your nickname might have to be Mel Brooks, because I keep thinking Mel Brooks every time I say Brooks. Um, <laughs> it's a shame her first name isn't Melanie or something, because that would be hilarious. Um, Burns? You can go over there, just try to keep yourself out of sight though, at least until you've managed to use your medkit up. Ah, oh, brilliant floaters right from the get go. I hate floaters. I hate them. Hajimoto. You can go over there. And you can overwatch as well, because one of these sons of bitches will probably try and pop up right behind us or something. And we've got thin men as well, brilliant. This is like. This is going to be a bad day, guys. I can tell already. This is not going to be a fun mission. I expect casualties. I will say that right now. Ah, oh, we did some damage, though, at least. We got the first shot off, which is always nice. Oh, dear. Instantly, one of our guys down. A sign of things to come, I think. We'll have to probably have to stabilize them and use up the med kit to do it, unfortunately, but never mind. Um, shit. 71% chance, 51. God damn it. 91%. Right, Bull Burns, you can't shoot because you need to get your ass over there and heal this guy. Um, you... Can we fire a rocket and maybe kill a couple of guys with one... thing? Apparently not. Well, hooray for that. Not. How can you not shoot that guy? He's right there. Ah. Never mind. Can we chuck a grenade over there, perhaps? We could, but it would serve very little purpose. Um. Right, here we... I'll tell you what, this is what we're going to do. Burns, move over there. Hamilton, move your ass here. Then, fucking shoot someone, please. Like this guy. Okay, one down. Nice. Off to a decent-ish start, then. Brooks, you're pretty useless out all the way out here with your shotgun, unfortunately, but well, never mind. Um, perhaps we can get over here... No, we wouldn't be able to. Damn, that's annoying. Um, right, you can get up there. And hunker down. Uh, actually, no, overwatch. Actually, yes, hunker down. It's difficult to choose sometimes. Um, right, you can stabilize Hashimoto. I don't think we'll be. I don't think we'll be able to revive him. 
Um, but at least he won't die. Yet. 71% chance on this son of a bitch. Go for it. Hate thin men with a passion, so kill him. Thank you. Okay, we're not doing too badly so far. Fingers crossed, touch wood and all the rest of it. Okay, so he's popped off into the air and he's going to land behind someone. Ah, good. That's actually good because um, Mel Brooks over there can run over and shotgun him in the face, which is fine because that's what she does. It's just how she rolls. You, however, matey, are going down. Because Steve Irwin is a total badass. How many kills is that so far, this mission? I have not really been counting, but a fair amount by the looks of things, I think. All right. Springtime for sectoids in Germany or Mars or whatever, wherever the fuck they come from. Um, that's not a good enough chance. It's not good enough. I want you to run right up in his face. Stick that shotgun throughout down his throat. Not that he has a throat, but stick it up his proverbial throat. Oh uh, crap, he's not dead. <laughs> oh dear. Um, oh boy. Narrow, actually. that's I didn't count on that happening, I'm going to be honest. A shotgun to the face normally solves every single problem, but for some reason it only did three damage. That's not good at all. Um, right, can you save the day, Hamilton? Otherwise she's toast. 33% chance. Crap. You'll have to go for it. You beast. 33% chance to hit and you managed it. That's well done. Well done. That's all I can say. Okay, well, we can't revive Hashimoto, so he's basically going to lie there in, the, in a ditch, unconscious, for the rest of the mission, like the useless twat he is. Um, well, everyone else has to do the work for him. But we're doing okay so far, really. Um the grand scheme of things. Right, so, Burns, move your bam over there. Right, we've got battle music going again, but I don't see any enemies, so I'm not sure what the deal is. Um, we can't move anyone else, can we? Or can we? Alright, oh, you're just sort of sat there doing whatever. Okay, Overwatch. Okay, Steve Irwin might um, get up there when you're on slightly high ground. That will give you a decent, decent, uh, decent bonus, and you can reload Let's do this. while you're there. In fact, you can definitely reload, and, and you can, I don't know, fuck off over there and Overwatch. Burns, you can. Edge slowly closer to the UFO. All sorts of nasties waiting for us inside there. I am fairly certain. Um, go there. Um, Hamilton. I think we'll go through in this door, through this door actually, as opposed to through there, because I hate these diagonal bits. Um, these diagonal doorway things are really awkward to try and take cover around. Um, so I think we'll go through this door actually. Um, so you can go there and just sort of sit right in front of it with your rocket launcher pointed at the entrance. Burns, you can go over there. Ah, sectoids. It just got hot in here. Oh dear, they appear to have flanked us. However, Steve Irwin's on the case. No worries. Um, fifty-one percent chance. That's not very good, but fuck it. Oh well, it's Steve Irwin. You know, he couldn't miss even if he tried. 
Well done, you ginger Australian bastard. Um, okay, so the rest of them are over there-ish. Can we edge over to the corner and get a look at them, maybe? No, it doesn't look like it, but I will overwatch you nonetheless, actually. Mel Brooks, you can open the door. Go hot, go hot. Oh, wow, yeah, there's enemies everywhere. Uh oh, shit. That looks like the primary power source for the alien craft. I could only hazard a guess as to the amount of power it would have to be generating to propel that ship. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. Oh, sorry, what was that? You want me to blow it up? Oh, okay, I can, I, I can do that. Um, if you like. 66% chance to shoot this dude back to where it came from. Up to 5 damage. 1, 2, 3, 4. We could, in theory, kill this guy in the face with one hit. But, um... If we don't manage to, we may, may well die. Horrible, horrible, horrible death. Do it! Yeah, he's still got one health point left. That's bad news! It's a good thing you're here, isn't it? What the fuck? How can you not? Oh my god, what? What is that? Is that a thin man behind there? This I am not amused by. How do you have a better chance on this guy than you do on this guy? He's right there. Jesus Christ. Okay. Anyway. Um. Burns. My man. Burns. Why can't you do anything? Why are you stuck there like that? I don't understand. What about you, Steve? You're also stuck. Are we still on the same turn? Oh, damn it. Um, we're in serious trouble here. I'm actually going to have to run you over here and damn the consequences. Don't get shot. Thank God for that. Not losing an assault sergeant on her first mission. I'm sorry. Now we're all gonna die, because nobody's in cover. Please be good aliens and stay inside the ship while I uh, faff around out here. That would be really nice if you could do that. Hey, you hear anything? Damn it, never mind. And you missed. You silly Scottish bastard. And now you're probably going to hit him, aren't you? Oh, no, he missed, but you did total the wall he was taking cover up against. Which is kind of annoying. How do you have no target? He stood right... Th oh, for fuck's sake. Um, you do have a flanking shot on this guy, but you will get your brain brains blown out as a result if you do try and take it. Um, move over there. Please don't get shot by the thin man. Although that's probably going to happen, isn't it? Ooh, close. Move your bum over there. Shoot this guy in the face, please. Okay, fine. Three is better than nothing. Um, you, apparently, need to move your bum because you're being all useless over there. You're being monumentally useless, in fact. Right, you can go over here, Hamilton. Um, except you can't fucking see anyone, because this is what I'm talking about with these annoying diagonal doorways. You can't see around that, apparently. Um, right, you can see plenty of people, though. Um, who do you have a good, decent chance of shooting? Right, this thin man is toast. Hopefully. Or not. We can't fire a rocket, but we might be able to throw a grenade in there. No, apparently we can't do that either. Oh well. You're basically going to have to sit there like a useless lemon. This could have gone smoother, I must admit. Oh yes, lots of overwatching as well. Brilliant. Don't you dare kill Steve Irwin.
Right now we're going to have to move him again so he won't be able to shoot. Clever bastard. Ow! Well, two damage I suppose. It could be worse. You... Oh, that's it. That's really getting on my tits, that is. Um... Right, you just... Just move over here. Just... Oh my god! I Um... Move over... Right, you know what? You... Ah, uh, no, that's no good. Um... Screw it. You move there. You might die as a result of this, unfortunately, but never mind. Kill him, please. Thank you. You... Move the fuck over there. And try not to die. That would be really nice if you didn't die. And you... Move over there. And you're going to get Overwatch shot by like 5 billion people at once. Ow. Yeah, I should have known better than to do that. Never mind. You might end up gravely wounded, but you're still going to take these shitheads down with you. As far as I can, I'm concerned. Right, you get rid of him. Nice. In fact, he's probably going to die now, actually. Um, next alien turn, he's probably going to get shot in the face, and that'll be it. Um, right now, madam, can you actually maybe get rid of this guy? Good. Okay, now we have one sectoid to worry about as opposed to one sectoid and two thin men. Although, knowing my luck, this sectoid is probably going to kill. Yep, I knew it, I knew it. Damn it. Wait, he's critically wounded. If we can kill this guy before the mission ends, he might live. He might live. Right, typically you can't see anyone. Burns? Can you dash over here and save the day, maybe? No, that'd be hoping for too much, I think. Um, it's down to you, Brooks. Very much down to you. Not enough ammo to fire a shot. Oh, okay, so we are screwed because Brooks is out of ammo. <sighs> God damn it. Um, grenade might do it, though. If we were close enough, which we're not. Crap. Never mind. Reload. Burns. Can you save us? Putting all my faith in a Scotsman. Who won't be able to get there in time, sadly. Alright, you can just reload. And there's nothing you can do, is there, really? Because you're basically stuck there. You, know, you could go and sit in that doorway, I suppose. What's he going to do? You kill Steve. I, uh, You're still poisoned, aren't you? I don't like that at all. Can you get rid of this guy? No, you can't. I'll get him next time. You, run and gun. For the kill. Up under this guy's face. Hopefully that'll count as a flanking shot. It will. He's dead. Kill confirmed. Operational objective. Thank God for that. And we didn't lose any XCOM operators because we managed to finish the mission before Hamilton over there bled out. That could not have gone... Actually, it could have gone much, much better. I was about to say it could not have gone better, but that's bollocks. It could have gone way better. Um, Operation Cryptic Him. But at least Canada is safe. That should reduce some panic, hopefully. Um, and we'll get a crap ton of resources from this uh, UFO now as well, since I didn't manage to blow up the uh, power source. Um, we'll get an alien power source thing which will allow us to do some more research and you know stuff all that jazz as well as lots of alien alloys which are really useful like the bread and butter of building anything in this game um, we're gonna need those like crazy Burns finally made it to Corporal well done Burns well done I uh, will give you Sprinter as well 
However, everyone was fucking wounded apart from uh, Mel Brooks. In fact, that's that's definitely going to be her um, nickname from now on as well, Mel Brooks. I think. Well, we've got loads of new research available at least. And yeah, there we go. Sixty alien alloys, which is good. Alien alloys are very very useful. Commander, we've suffered a number of casualties and haven't found suitable replacements yet. We need to start hiring additional. Yes, I know. Stop bags. nagging. Um. McBadass. Erwin. Yeah, wow. Lots of injuries. Lots of injuries. Hashimoto is fucked as well, isn't he? Um, who was I looking for? Yeah, you. Cobra? Cobra? I think not. Mel Brooks is your name. Uh, okay, so yeah, we do need to hire, hire some more soldiers. Well, we would, it weren't for the fact we have eight credits. Eight. We might have to visit the grey market. Sell a bit of Illyrium, maybe. Surely we only need one UFO flight computer as opposed to two, right? Right? Fuck it, we'll sell one of them. I may I may regret that later, but never mind, I need the money. Uh, barracks, hire new soldiers, ouch, that costs a fair amount of money, but never mind, we need it, need it desperately, um, okie doke, officer training school, can't afford anything else from there, yet, anyway, the engineering, I the more I don't want to see, I'll buy items, that twisted hulk of flesh and metal, by the arc technology. throwers. We could build some arc throwers, but we don't really need to life? yet. Um, we have to keep moving forward with the project, but the thought of treading the same path Engineering as build facilities, is though. Troubling. Alien containment, five days else? remaining. Okay, so then Are it might be worth building some arc throwers, but not yet. If this is a glimpse of our future, I want no part of it. Um... Okay, well, that's about it anyway for now, guys. Um, the mission went relatively well, I suppose, even though it put practically all our veterans out of action in one fell swoop, even though if, even if it was technically successful. Um, we'll see how we get on next time, but for now, it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from Central McDickhead over here. There he is, look, there he is. Yep, yep, there he is. It's you. The guy who talks over all my stuff. Yeah. You. We should send you out as a rookie on one of the missions. That's what we should do. Send you out, and I won't actually care if you get killed. In fact, I will rejoice. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, let's let's uh, end the video, and I will see you again next time. Bye bye.